Hey guys, this is Kamal from Nokia Views. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the um, Windows 10 Mobile Build 10581. So this build was pushed uh, like two days back, and um, overall, it offers a very smooth upgrade from the existing preview builds. Um, though for some devices, the installation will take some time. Um, if you're not able to receive this build and, if you, and you are an insider, I suggest you go into the um, Insiders app, Windows Insider app and you know, reselect, again select the uh, fast build. You may have to re-log in as well. And after that I suggest you to uh, suggest you all to plug in your device and the installation will stuck at 0% for some time and then it will then suddenly jump to 1000 or uh, 100% so it will work so while this build has its own uh, share of known issues it is still very polished it can be said as yeah you can use it for uh, as, as a daily driver but it does have one really serious bug it is called the storage bug and um, in this in this app uh, the phone has problem reading from the SD card in certain apps for example the photo app is not able to fetch the photos from the SD card now but if you don't have a phone with SD card that is not going to be a deal breaker and if your phone does come with an SD card like all the low end and middle end uh, Windows phones do um, I just I suggest you uh, Stay, you roll back to Windows uh, Phone 8.1 for that. Uh, but if you don't use if you don't use the photo app much, you, this uh, build is pretty much the best one till now. One of the main bugging bugs of the previous build was the fix your account message in the mail app. That message is now gone and you don't get any uh, fix your account message. Just make sure you upgrade to the latest. Uh, uh, software by uh, latest uh, stable uh, what do you call it latest update from the store by going to the store and update all of your apps that way you won't have any problem um, as you can see it is running pretty much flawlessly and it has not crashed once on my devices once on any of my devices in, in, in this phone is Lumia 630 also known as 635 in other countries. This is a fairly low end device with 512 MB RAM and it is running impressively well on it. Battery discharge rate is very nice. I mean, it's uh, Microsoft clearly has done a lot of uh, what do you call uh, enhancements in how the battery management should be. What else? Overall, it's running uh, very nice on it. I mean, Things don't crash that often now. Uh, our pages don't load on their own automatically like they used to in the previous build. So under the hood changes are there. You can see clearly how smooth it is. And what else? Um, it's running really nice. I mean, the music app runs so fast now there is no loading even on this low end device it's running really nice on it when I need motivation. so you can see that when it runs instantly I really don't suggest you guys do hard reset on this build as you will not be able to change the storage settings I will show that to you You will not be able to change anything like you used to in the previous build so uh, don't go for a hard reset this is a bug Microsoft knows about it I think it will be solved in the upcoming builds that's it for now this is Kamal signing off bye bye